Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are taking a look at the Easy Reader System. This is an all-in-one Windows-based computer system that offers almost 100 applications. It's designed to make the computing experience easier for those not only with low vision, but who are maybe not as tech savvy or as computer experienced. Before we get started, a huge thank you to the creator of this system, Gary Bean, for sending this out for me to make this video for you guys. More information about Gary a little bit later on. So first we're going to talk about what the Easy Reader system is, what it can do. I'll do my best to show you as many of the almost 100 applications <laughs> that Gary has available. Then we'll talk about all the different packages and options that the Easy Reader system is available in. Because that's one thing I love about this is you do have options. Now I say almost 100 applications and that's very impressive. It's more around 80 applications, but when you factor in all the different things they can do, plus the different uh, Windows shortcut enhancements that Gary has offered in this as well, it does push that number closer to 100. So first, let's check out all the hardware and everything comes with the full package. If you were to get everything, what are you going to get? Well, you get this very powerful all-in-one computer. Now, the computers might vary depending on availability, but they're all going to be around the same specifications. The one that I got here is an all-in-one touchscreen computer. It has an AMD 5 processor, which is a very good processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte solid-state drive. I've been very happy with the performance of this computer just in general. It boots up super quickly. It's very responsive. It runs very quietly, which is very nice. So no complaints with the computer at all. You also get this high contrast keyboard. It may be a wireless keyboard. It may be a wired keyboard, depending on availability. The one I received is this yellow keys on a black background. Also comes with a wireless mouse. You also get some external speakers because the system does come with all kinds of applications that will need speakers like OCR text to speech, music player, internet radio, lots of different things. And you get a document camera. This is used for your video magnification and your OCR text to speech. Right away, you'll notice some standout features about the Easy Reader system. The two main aspects of the system are core values when it comes to helping with low vision, large print, and high contrast. And those principles are echoed throughout the system. The computer itself is running Windows 11, the latest and greatest of the Windows operating systems. And that's one thing to note, that this is a fully functional Windows PC. If you want it, you have access to everything that a Windows PC can do. But the beauty of this system is the Easy Reader software running on top of Windows, making Windows more accessible. When you turn it on by default, the software is automatically running, but I've turned it off so I can show you how to enable it again. The icon here in the middle looks like a book. If we double tap that, that launches our Easy Reader taskbar down here at the bottom. One nice feature of the software is that it's designed to work equally well with a mouse or a touch screen. Although I will say I believe it works best with a touch screen. The taskbar has several icons on here and these are going to be your most frequently used applications. This is all customizable. You can remove and add applications as you see fit. But this is going to be a great way to use those five or six mostly used applications. You'll notice a plus and an X here on the taskbar. If I click on those, this actually triggers the Windows magnifier. And then I can use my mouse to move it around. I can use the sides here to move around. I can drag and move around if I want. We have our high contrast color theme here. Right now I'm running the white on black, the inverted color scheme. If I tap on the C on the keyboard, C stands for color. I can cycle through all the different color options. And we have several to choose from here. Now, what if I need the taskbar bigger or smaller? Well, once again, we have options for that as well. Several different sizing options available. 
If I want to jump into the complete list of applications, I click this icon here that looks like a grid. And here we are with all the different applications this software suite comes with. Now, I'm definitely not gonna be able to show you everything this software can do. I encourage you to visit the website and see the complete list of applications. You can even click on an application on the website and it will take you to a page that gives you more information about that application. All right, let's jump into the email client so that you guys can get an idea of the layout of all of these different applications. Tap on the email and it opens right up. All of these applications are laid out very similarly, and that's really designed to make them simple and easy to use. No matter which application you launch, it's gonna be familiar. In the email client here, for example, we have options at the top. Then we have all of our emails here in a list. We have our most important email boxes, inbox, outbox, archive. And then we have a few other options here. We can send an email to a contact. We can choose an email to view and then tap on view here. Now we're in our email reading and I can scroll up through this email if I need to. I have all the important options that you would expect. I can reply to, I can forward. I can even print out this email. At the end of the list here, I have these little menu buttons, and these indicate that we have more options. If I tap on that, we can see the other options we have here, including a play button. So if I tap that, it's going to trigger the text-to-speech, and it's going to start reading from wherever the cursor is blinking. Welcome to Easy Reader. Hyperlink HTTP slash slash www. And that's really, really convenient. And if I scroll down here, if I wanted to read from here, for example, I could just tap, put my cursor there, and then hit the play button. Regards, Gary Bean, 214. If I tap the menu here, we can continue. We have a lot more options available, including how the text is displayed. I can make it larger, I can make it smaller. I can bold the text, unbold the text. If I need to change the contrast, the colors, I can do that. Whatever I need to do to help me read this email, right here, ready for me. I can delete that email if I need to. I can go back, I can read the next one here just by tapping view. One thing to remember though, that because this is a touch screen, I have my touch screen options, so I can pinch to zoom to make it larger if I want to. Gary has really thought of everything when it comes to these applications. What if we want to compose a new email? I'm gonna tap on my contacts, and here I have my contacts list. Let's send an email to Gary, so I'm gonna tap on his name, and I'm gonna click new over here. It's already put Gary's email information into the recipient field. Our cursor is sitting on the subject. I'm gonna type in just a test so Gary doesn't think this is something for real. Then I'm gonna tap down here in the body of the email. I'm gonna type out a little message to Gary. Hey Gary, this is a test, just ignore this. Now, something that's really cool about this that I absolutely love, up here at the top, you'll see there's a phone icon that says message right next to the letter icon that says email. So I can choose to send this as an email or very quickly, I can choose to send this as a text message. That is fantastic. I love that that option is included in the email. We're just gonna send it as an email. So I'm gonna click the email and we got the little message saying that it's been sent takes us back to our outbox and displays the most recently sent email, which is the one we just sent. Very, very handy. I can tap here to go back to my inbox. So just very easy to use applications. You also get a text editor. Let's open that one real quick. By default, you have some information about the Easy Reader system already in here. But one thing you'll notice, the layout, once again, very similar to all the other ones. We have our options at the top, and we have the menu buttons at the end of the list, indicating that we have more options available. One thing that I love, once again, is that we have the play button for the text-to-speech. So if I tap that... Welcome to Easy Reader. The Easy Reader system includes a touchscreen computer, document camera, and custom software that it... You have some options here with regard to the OCR. You can change the volume. You can also change the voice, uh, male or female. 
Right now it's set to male. Female voice. Now we have the female voice. Low vision users. Whereas the low vision industry focuses on enabling the use of existing software that is. If I tap through the menu here, you see that we still have a lot of the options that we did before, changing the text, all of that. One thing I wanted to show though is if I go to this one here, we have some print options, including a print large and a print small. So if the low vision user needed to print something out in large print to make it easier for them to read, they could very easily tap the large print option. Or if they wanted to print something out for someone who is not low vision, maybe a family member, coworker, and they didn't need to make it large print, they could just tap the small print option. No need to fiddle with a print dialog window, choosing which size it is. Those things are so confusing. It's already built in to the easy reader system. That's really cool. You also have an ebook reader here. If I tap that, jumps us into our ebook reader. This is the last one that I was reading, but if we want to look at the books that are available, we can tap the books menu here at the top. And here we have some of the preloaded books. Then at the top, we have some options. There's nonfiction, fiction, your Kindle books. So you can load all of your Kindle books into this program. I like fiction. Let's take a look at fiction. And there's a several books already loaded in here, preloaded. Let's take a look at Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Tap on that one and then click open. And here we are in the ebook reader and we can scroll, read and scroll. Of course, if I didn't want to do that, I want to sit back and listen to it. I can tap the play button. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Contents. Chapter I Civilizing Huck Dash. So real quick, let's take a look at some of these things. There's a music player. There's a chat. We can chat with other easy reader owners. We even have games. So a very popular game, Solitaire. This is pretty cool. And Gary has designed it to be super low vision friendly, obviously. I'm not a Solitaire person myself, so I'm going to skip that. <laughs> This is a fun game where you have to move the letters around to get them in the correct order. So for example, I need to get the one up there in that top line so I can just slide all of these around. There we go, we got that there. There, one, that's in the right spot. Now I gotta get the two in there. Two, all right, we're on a roll now. We have a basic memory game. So it's using numbers instead of pictures. So that's a number one. Oh, no, there's a six. Oh, six, six, got it. Oh, this is a cool game. I really like this one. I was playing this one a little bit earlier. So you have these spheres connected by lines and you have to get it to where none of the lines are intersecting. All right, so none of the lines can be intersecting. So that line right there is still intersecting. Got it. Congratulations, <laughs> you solved the puzzle. All right, I can tap it again to get a new puzzle or we can even go harder with more more spheres and more lines. You have basic applications like calculator, timer, you can set alarms, you can set timers, nice big graphical interface, that's great. You can place crosshairs over your cursor on Windows using this application. I mentioned before that you have a music player. We can launch that. And by default, you only have a couple options in here, but if you wanted to listen to music, super easy. Just play, press the play button. I better not play that too much or I'll get a copyright strike on my channel. But you also have internet radio in here as well. Just all kinds of applications. It's kind of crazy. Photos you can look at. And then once again, we have these options that are super helpful. You can copy this photo, you can print this photo. More options here we can cycle through, including capture. So if there was text in this image, 
So for example, we have some pictures here of a document. If I tap one here and we go to our next menu, I can tap on capture. And then if I make a little box around it, it captured that text. And if I hit the menu here, I can print this text, I can save it, I can do all kinds of things with it. You can also use the Easy Reader to better access all the existing functions of the Windows computer. In this case, I'm on my website here, theblindlife.net, and I want to read this section of text. Or rather, I want it to be read out loud to me. So I'm going to choose this option here on my taskbar. And now I just tap in the upper left hand corner of the text and the bottom right hand corner of the text. It grabs all of that text and puts it into a easy readable document here for me. And I have all my controls, all the same controls where I can manipulate, I can play it. The blind life is a representation of what is going on in my... If I wanted to copy this text and put it into an email, for example, I can do that. If I needed to print it, I could do that. But this is fantastic. So you can go out into the internet, out into the web, and grab whatever text you want and bring it back into the Easy Reader system to make it much easier to access. Now you also have the option to get the document camera. And this is a really high quality document camera. It's adjustable, but this is what you can use for video magnification and even OCR text to speech. First, we're gonna launch it by tapping on the camera here and very, very quickly launches the camera. But now you can use this as a video magnifier and it works great. I can do the pinch to zoom or I can zoom in using the plus and minus buttons up here. I can freeze an image. Now that image is frozen on the screen here and I have some options. I can print if I want to. I can copy this image to send to somebody. Probably my favorite feature of the camera is to capture this text and read it out loud. And I can do that by tapping on capture. Now, if I tap in the upper corner and the bottom corner, processes, grabs all that text, brings it into a document here, and of course we have the play. Let's refocus on the fact that beautifully crafted burgers don't eat grow on trees. All right, apparently this is a cookbook about burgers. <laughs> I mean, just super, super user-friendly and intuitive. Something else you can do that's super cool is you can connect your Android device to the Easy Reader system and display the phone screen on the computer. So if you need to check text messages or recent calls or anything like that, you can do that through the larger screen of the computer. Makes it so much easier. All right guys, well, Hopefully I've given you a good idea. Hopefully you can see how incredible the Easy Reader system is. Now, who is this ideally gonna be suited for? Uh, this isn't gonna be for everybody, obviously. If you are already very comfortable using a computer, you're very tech savvy, you've already got all the accessibility features of the computer figured out, and you're good to go with that, then this might not be the system for you. This is really designed for anybody that is struggling to use a computer, whether that is because of their low vision or because the computer is just a little bit too complicated for them. This is gonna be a fantastic system for those people. Okay, how do we get it and what are the different options and packages? Well, I will have a link to the Easy Reader website listed in the video description down below. You can go over there, learn a ton more information about the system, including a list of all of the different applications. You can also see what package options they offer. You can get the entire system, the computer, the camera, the keyboard, everything, if you want. You can also just get the software if you want. If you just wanna put that onto your already existing computer, you can do that. They have an option for that. If you want just the keyboard and the camera, you can do that. They're super flexible with the different options. But one thing I definitely wanted to point out about the system, one of the things that I really appreciate, and it's probably my favorite aspect of this system, 
is the guy who created it, Gary Bean. I've spoken with Gary several times now over the phone. I did a whole training session with him the other day. An incredibly nice individual and really cares about making an amazing system for the low vision community. And that's one thing to note. If you pick up this system, you get basically unlimited tech support. If you need anything, you can contact Gary and he will help you out with it. He will even install the program onto your system if you need that. Once you get it installed and everything is good to go, you can set up a training session with him. If you run into any problems in the future, you can reach out to him. He even said that he calls his clients every couple of weeks just to check in with them. In a world of giant corporations that honestly, it seems like could really care less about their customers, it's extremely refreshing to have someone that clearly cares a lot for his clients. In fact, while we were talking, he kept referring to his clients as his people. Well, my people this, my people that. And I truly believe that's how he feels about his clients. They're his people. So if you guys have any questions, if you need more information, please check out the website link listed in the description. I'll also include Gary's email down there. If you have a question, you can reach out to him directly. Definitely check it out, guys. I think this is fantastic for the right person. Once again, I, I kind of reiterate that. This isn't gonna be for everybody, but for that right person and the specific group within the low vision community, this is going to be fantastic. All right, if you guys have any questions for me, as always, you can leave those in the comments down below. You can also reach me through the website, theblindlife.net. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps out the channel. And make sure you're subscribed to The Blind Life. I put out a new video every single Saturday. You click the bell notification, you can stay up to date with all of those new videos. But that is it for me, guys. I'm going to jump back in and explore some more of these applications. Thank you so much for watching. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.